So we're gonna be putting in a pocket door. And one of the easiest ways to go about doing that is to buy a kit that already has it all framed for you. You simply basically nail this into place and then you have the, the function of using a pocket door. Really makes a lot of sense in smaller bathrooms like this. The swing of a door, anything that you have to move around in a small space is gonna make it feel cramped and make it feel even worse. So a pocket door is a really great idea for small bathrooms. All right, so I've got a 28 inch wide uh, pocket door framing kit. And these things really aren't too bad. I mean, you know, there's, there's really nothing to them. I mean, it's just one by material, but it makes it easy because it already has the whole track with it. So as you can see, it already kind of has the one by material that you'd be mounting your trim to. So this will be the finished trim surface here on the front. This is the top rail. And so you essentially just put this top rail on top. So these basically have to align with each other up top here. basically slide into the wall here. Now, I did put a two by six on the floor, so I have to cut that out. What I wanted to do was get some stability on the inside of this wall, because this is gonna be the shower wall. This isn't, this isn't terrible, it's just not that much material, and there could be a little bit of deflection with this. So that's why we wanna put like a two by four wall on the inside here so that it can fit nicely. So let's go ahead and mark this bottom plate out of here so we can cut it. So we basically just keep that even with the edge here. So this part overhangs so that our drywall finishes right to the edge here. This extension jam is gonna have to come into the door to overcome this inch and a half. So for right now, let's just go ahead and get some framing on here to support our drywall and our cement board. Two by fours across here and this is gonna give us some additional support. Just make sure your, your wall is flat here, all the way across. And then this is gonna be our support for our shower doors and the transition between cement board and drywall. And we'll need to get a little catcher up here as well for that. So yeah, pocket door is definitely the easiest way to go if you're especially in confined spaces like I was mentioning. And these pre-made packages really make it simple. So I highly recommend it. Now this is gonna be a 28 inch, in, 28 inch door. Anything smaller than that is really gonna feel pretty small. So my original concept was to do a 24 inch door, but that was just way too small to get it in and out. Especially once you trim this in, it's gonna get a little bit smaller. So. Hopefully those tips helped you out on installing a pocket door. Uh, I would leave the door out um, until you get all the flooring in, then cut the door and slide it in. They have the little package here. We'll go ahead and address that after we get all the tile done 
and it's pretty much one of the last things that we put in.